Hello, my zone community, and happy Fitness Friday. I am Dr. Ayla Donlin, one of your my zone master trainers. Hope that you are all doing really well on this Friday. And you may have noticed that I have been off camera for the past month or so, and uh, I'm very excited to share with you that the reason, if you weren't, um, if you weren't aware before, the reason that I am. Uh, that I was away that I was off camera is because I was very busy bringing into the world probably one of our future my zone master trainers and my daughter Lucy who I actually want to introduce to you this morning this is uh, my backyard and you may have noticed that the title of this morning's Fitness Friday is the Express BKW and that is the Express Backyard Kettlebell Workout because as Lucy and I have been adjusting to our new roles as mother and child, uh, I have been doing a lot of my workouts right here in my very own backyard. And one that I put together is a little backyard kettlebell workout circuit that I'm gonna share with you today and give you the opportunity to do a little working out with me if you so desire. But before, let's meet Lucy, shall we? Hey, Alistair, thank you so much. It's great to be back. Hey girl, come on, let's see. Let's show you what we got. Let's show you what we got. And here she is. <laughs> Bright eyed and bushy tailed on this Friday morning. <laughs> so as you're signing in, please let me know who you are and where you're signing in from. And if you've done a workout already this morning, then let me know what you did and how many MEPs you've earned. And uh, Lucy and I have been very busy this month earning our MEPs so that I, Ayla Mama can keep her my zone status in the Hall of Fame. And I'm very happy to let you know that with this workout this morning, I will reach my 1300 MEPS and uh, maintain Hall of Fame status. Hi, Melissa, thank you. And I see that Lauren is watching. So Lucy's not gonna do the workout with us this morning. It probably won't be long until she's working out with us, um, but she's gonna take this morning to catch a little snooze and continue to grow gains. <laughs> so I'm going to put her back in her little thing and we're going to get started. <laughs> Here you go, baby girl. Good job. You did so good. Oh, good job. All right. So while Lucy, oh good, Alistair, you did an hour on the stepper and earned 230 MEPs. Good on you. That's fantastic. Way to go. So continue to let me know who you are, where you are signing in from, and what kind of workout you've done, how many My Zone Effort points you've earned. You've noticed that our theme here on My Zone Fitness Friday is all about workouts. So Emily's been taking you through some express workouts. We're gonna continue with that today with our express backyard kettlebell workout. Sue did a home workout, 280 MEPS, well done you. And Wilden, thank you so much for the congrats. It's been an absolute adventure and I've really enjoyed it. If you're looking for more information on MyZone, please go to myzone.org where you can get all kinds of information about MyZone, the MyZone system, and you can check out the blog that Emily and I contribute to. If you scroll down to about the middle of the homepage, there's all kinds of great resources on everything MyZone related. Um, specifically looking for workout type of resources um, or any of the heart rate sciences there as well. Yeah. Okay, so the backyard kettlebell workout that we're going to do today, ladies and gentlemen, of course you'll always want to start with a warm-up of some sort. I'm just going to show you a couple of my favorite warm-up exercises that I've been doing lately. And then what we're going to do are eight different kettlebell exercises with a couple little bonus ones at the end. And you can take these at your own pace. My recommendation, and you can always use the zone match feature for this, but my recommendation would be during each exercise, aiming for the green or the yellow, and then in between exercises, trying to catch a little bit of recovery. Or you may notice the way that these exercises are designed, you're naturally gonna get a little bit of recovery in between exercises because some of them will get your heart rate up higher than the others. So what we're gonna do this morning is I'm gonna take you straight through all eight exercises. We can do them together. So if you have a kettlebell, get it out now. If you've got a mat, get it out now because you can see mine behind me. And we'll go through these together. I'm gonna take you through two rounds of this 
typically I like to do three, but we'll do two together this morning. And then if you want to catch a third round, you are more than welcome to do that. I'm going to do that after we're off camera. Thank you so much, Michael. It's great to be back. Thanks so much. And Trish did a CrossFit workout for an hour and earned 186 MyZone effort points. Good on you, Trish. All right, the eight exercises are, I'm just gonna list them off, but then we're gonna go through them together. The kettlebell swing, which you're probably familiar with, right? A kettlebell deadlift, a kettlebell side lunge. I'm reading off my little list here to the side. A lunge deadlift combo. This one's a challenge because it's also working some balance into the mix. And now, as you might've noticed, those are all lower body exercises. So we do four lower body exercises, and then we get into some upper body exercises some push-ups, then a kettlebell row, and then some dips and a push press. If you don't have a kettlebell, thank you Sue for pointing that out, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can totally use something that you have around the house or if you're in the gym, you could use a dumbbell, but around the house, maybe you've got like a gallon of milk in the fridge um, or something else that would weigh an appropriate amount that you wanna be working with. <laughs> hey Ange, thanks for joining in, right on, yo mama. <laughs> All right, so those are the eight exercises. I'm gonna show you a couple of little bonus ones at the end that you can be working your way through if you so desire. We're gonna do this together. So first on the warm up, just a couple of exercises that I've enjoyed doing lately are some pelvic rocks, or you may know these as like the cat cow exercise, and then just a general plank hold and a little bit of bird dog, okay? One more peek of Lucy before we get going, huh? for some inspiration. Isn't she being so chill? Just for some workout inspiration, Lucy says, oh, it's on the other foot. <laughs> Lucy says, hi, we're ready to rock and roll. Hi, Mayflower, let's do this, all right, you guys? Good girl, good job, doing so good. All right, here we go. If you've got your belt, make sure you put your belt on. You hear one beep to make sure that it's activated. We're gonna get a little warm up on and then we're gonna go through all of our kettlebell exercises. First thing we're gonna do is a little bit of the, the warm up exercises I was just talking about, pelvic rocks or cat cow. You should have had plenty of time to get your equipment out now so you can join me for these. Cat cow or pelvic rocks, place your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips and then you're just gonna gently tuck your tailbone underneath and arch your back into cow pose, or into cat pose, excuse me, and then pull through into cow pose, creating a curve in your lower back. Just back and forth. Find a breathing pattern that works for you. And you'll wanna do somewhere between five and 10 of these. Choose whatever works for you this morning. Two more, tucking my tailbone down, curling my back up, and then coming through. Hi, Darla. This is my dog, Darla. She'll probably join us for the workout this morning, too. She's been my trainer here at home. All right, after the pelvic rocks, let's do a plank hold. You can do that on your hands or on your elbows, on your knees or on your toes. And we're going to hold in the center for 30 seconds and then each side. Here we go. You want to pull your belly button in tight and tuck your tailbone underneath slightly. And we're just going to hold this, as I said, for about 30 seconds. And I'm just demonstrating a few exercises that I like to do in the warm up. You can choose whatever warm up you want. You want to generally spend five to 10 minutes in the blue, maybe working your way into the green on the warm up. After 30 seconds in the center, let's take it over to the side. You can stack your feet, you can stagger your feet. You can come down onto your inside knee if you'd like. Choose what works best for you, and we'll hold here for about 30 seconds. I have to tell you guys, Lucy, we just celebrated her one month birthday this week, and uh, I, I returned back to light exercise at about the two week mark, because my body just felt like it was ready to move again. And I have to tell you, I have really enjoyed moving again, 
and it's been so great to have the MyZone system to just monitor what I'm doing, making sure that I'm <laughs> staying within the parameters that I should. Um, and like I said, I didn't want to lose my Hall of Fame status, so I'm maintaining my 1300 MEPS for this month. Let's switch to the other side. Whatever option you chose on the previous side, again, you'd want to choose on the other side so that you are even. Here comes Darla again. Hey girl, hey Darla. Darla really enjoys exercising as well. She's been a big help, like I said. She's been my trainer while I'm here working out at home. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hold this for another five seconds. Three, two, one. Come on down. Oh, there's Lucy. Dad's on call, so hold on just one second. Thanks, Dad. All right, so we did our pelvic rocks. We did our plank holds. <laughs> there she is again. And now we're gonna do our bird dogs. So you're gonna start on hands and knees. This is a great rotational warm-up exercise for rotational stability. And I really like to do this whenever I'm doing a kettlebell workout. So again, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. You're gonna extend your right arm to shoulder height and your left leg to hip height. Squeezing and holding, we'll just hold this for about 10 seconds. And then switch sides, extending your left arm out to shoulder height, right leg out to hip height. Squeezing and holding, pulling your belly button in tight. Holding this for about 10 seconds. All right, so those are a few of the warm-up exercises that I really enjoy doing, and we're gonna get right into our workout. So if you've got your kettlebell or whatever you're gonna use this morning, grab that. We're gonna start with kettlebell swings. You could do this either for time or for repetition. If you're doing it for time, I recommend performing about 30 to 60 seconds of each exercise. If you're going for repetitions, I recommend doing 15 to 20. We're gonna do 20 this morning. Here we go, hinging at your hips and pulling through. So this is gonna get your heart rate up as well as giving you a muscular fitness workout. That's 10. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see my hip hinge. Hinging through, pulling up. I hope that you're doing this with me, you guys. <laughs> All right, those are the kettlebell swings, 15 to 20 repetitions or 30 to 60 seconds, aiming for green or maybe yellow during the exercise. I'm gonna go right into kettlebell deadlift because this one will offer a little bit of heart rate recovery. So maybe we'll be in about blue on this one. I'm gonna hinge forward at my hips, just touch the kettlebell to the ground and squeeze back up. You can choose your range of motion if you don't like to go all the way to the ground with the kettlebell or your flexibility doesn't allow you to go all the way to the ground. Just go down as far as you can, maintaining the form and the posture, tall chest, keeping your core muscles active and pulled in. And we would again go for about 10 to 15, or sorry, 15 to 20 repetitions or 30 to 60 seconds. And in addition to the double leg deadlift, you could also play around with a single leg. So I did about 10 reps with the double leg. I'm just putting the toes of one leg back and emphasizing the forward leg. So I'm gonna do five on one side and then five on the other. Right. Next exercise is the kettlebell side lunge. So I'm gonna hold the kettlebell in tight to my chest, squeeze my shoulder blades together, and I'm gonna lunge side to side. I'm gonna do 10 on each side. So we're gonna go over to one side and then to the other. 
And you can be doing this this morning with just body weight if you want to, so you don't have to have a kettlebell. <sighs> oh, it's nice and crisp here this morning in California. Feels really good to be moving outside. Hopefully wherever you are, you're enjoying your movement in your environment. Concentrating on sitting back into my heels, driving through my heel to the top. I can feel my heart rate coming up on this one. So in every other exercise, we're gonna see a spike in heart rate and then a little bit of recovery. You can always take some more time in between exercises if you'd like a little more recovery as well. All right, I'm gonna do one more on each side. And there we are at the top. Next exercise. I'm not gonna use the kettlebell for this one. I'll let you know how you could. We're gonna go into a lunge deadlift combo. So I'm gonna take my lunge position. I'm lunging down and I'm lifting right into a single leg deadlift. How you could use the kettlebell in your opposite arm. So I have my left leg forward, right leg back. For you it probably looks like right leg forward left leg back. So I would hold the kettlebell in my right arm as I did this. But I'm just going to use body weight today. Please join me on this one. And we're going to do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. So there's six, this really loads up your hamstring, your hamstrings and your glutes. Woo, on the single leg side, Woo, one more. Woo. Then we'll hit the other side. So again, start in your lunge position, hip width apart, pull in nice and tight through here, lift your chest, lunge into the deadlift. My heart rate on this one, I can tell, is much lower than it was on the previous exercise. I'm moving a little bit more slowly, not quite as dynamic of a movement, and I'm not using weight, so my heart rate's able to recover a little bit more. So every other exercise offers a spike in heart rate and then a little bit of recovery. So I'm going right from one exercise into the other. You choose what works best for you. I'm gonna do two more. All right, those are our four lower body exercises. I'm just gonna move you with me. Hey, Coach B, and hey, Camilla, Camila. All right, now we have four upper body exercises. First is push-ups. I'm gonna do these on the table. You can do them on the ground. You can be on your knees or your toes. And sticking with our theme, we're either gonna do 15 to 20 repetitions in total or 30 to 60 seconds. So I'm gonna do 15. Join me if you want, you can count me out. Here's three. If you're using a bench like this, you can always do a little bit more dynamic of a push-up where you push off so that you've got, it's a little bit more dynamic. It's almost like a plyometric. We're gonna do five more. And your heart rate's gonna get up a little bit higher if you use a plyometric push-up like that as opposed to a regular push-up. So there were our push-ups, and now we have a kettlebell row. So I'm gonna pull the kettlebell out a little bit, pull my bench out, and I'm gonna put one hand on the bench so that I can be rowing with a little bit more stability. So I'm gonna start the kettlebell all the way at the ground, square off my hips, square off my shoulders, and do the kettlebell row. I'm gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. One more, and then 10 on the other side. Again, keeping my hips and my shoulders square, pulling in my abdomen nice and tight. Finding a breathing pattern that works for you. Let's 
One more. Yeah. All right. That's my kettlebell row. Now I'm going to do some dips that are going to work the front of my shoulder, my triceps, and through my upper back, my scapular stabilizers. Hands on the bench. And I'm going to put my feet out, my knees at about a 90 degree angle. The straighter you have your legs, the more intense the dips will be. We're gonna do 15 repetitions. Back stays in real close and tight to the bench. And like I said, the straighter you have your legs, the more intense the dips will be. Another five. One, hiya. Oh, dips are tough. And push press is our last upper body exercise. This is gonna spike our heart rate up to finish our upper body exercises. I'm gonna place the kettlebell right off of my shoulder, kind of resting there. I'm gonna take a little mini squat and I'm gonna push press it up. I'm gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Join me, ladies and gentlemen. Feel my heart rate coming up. When I've been doing this routine this week, during this exercise, my heart rate gets into the yellow. So I hit yellow, then I take a little breather, and I go right into round two, which we will do next. Here's another 10 on the other side. Two more. How we looking, Darla? <laughs> All right. Thanks, girl. Thanks for the encouragement. That was round one. Here we come back for round two. Same exercises. We're going again. Grab a little drink of water if you need it, and we're going to get right into it. I'm going to take you back here. All right. Four lower body exercises. First one, kettlebell swings. 15 to 20 repetitions or 30 to 60 seconds. Let's go. That's the halfway point for me. 10 repetitions in, 10 to go. Hope you're doing well. This one definitely gets my heart rate up into upper green or yellow. Last one. All right, that was exercise number one, kettlebell swings. Now we go kettlebell deadlift. Hinging forward at my hips. I'm choosing a straight leg deadlift, keeping the kettlebell in real tight to my legs the whole time. I'm gonna do another five with the double leg. So that was 10 double leg kettlebell deadlift and now I'm gonna hit five single leg deadlifts on each side. Just on the toes of my back leg, hinging forward, squeezing up. Happy Friday, everybody. Five more. Just on the toes of my back leg. Let me get so you can see me. Hinge forward, squeeze up. All right, there it was. 15 to 20, sing, a double end single leg deadlift and now side lunge kettlebell in tight 10 on each side if you wanted to add something a little bit more dynamic here you can add a little hop in between that's going to get your heart rate up even higher so that's a little progression otherwise you just keep it mellow I felt my heart rate go up on that one all right another five on each side 
Two more on each side. Last one. Whew. Yes, all right. Last exercise, lunge, deadlift combo. It's a single leg deadlift. You can use your kettlebell or you can place it to the side. If you're using your kettlebell, you would lunge down and then hit the single leg deadlift. I'm gonna do these with body weight. So I lunge down right into the single leg deadlift. As you get fatigued, you'll notice it's a little harder to balance. So you could see that I was just losing my balance a little bit. I'm gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. I hope you guys are enjoying this with me. And if not, if you're just kind of watching right now, you can always catch this on the replay, which would be on the MyZone Facebook page or you can head over to the My Zone Moves YouTube channel and you can catch this replay and all of our Fitness Fridays are on the My Zone Moves YouTube channel. So you're gonna have a whole library of workouts that you can do. So check it out, because I know Emily has given you some really good express workouts over the past few weeks. You can use the Zone Match feature or you can just use your app to monitor your heart rate and make sure you're hitting the target zones. On this particular workout, we wanna be hitting yellow and green on certain exercises that I'll review, and then blue-green on other exercises. We're gonna do three more. Last one. Yeah. All right, those are our four lower body exercises. Now for our four upper body exercises. Oh, thanks, Ange, I appreciate that. First exercise is the push-up. Let me turn you a little bit more. Thanks, Gladys, it is a really good workout. I've earned at least 100 MEPS on this one as I've been doing it each time. Okay, push-ups. 15 of them or 20 of them or 30 to 60 seconds. Here we go. I'm choosing a dynamic push-up. Five dynamic push-ups, five quick regular push-ups. And then five more dynamic push-ups. up the more vertical you are the easier it's going to be the more horizontal you are the more challenging it's going to be you can also add intensity like I was doing where I'm not horizontal but I'm choosing to add more dynamic movement which will make it more challenging it's a progression after the push-ups we got our kettlebell row squaring off shoulders squaring off hips ten on one side ten on the other And on the other side. Keep breathing, keep going. Last one. Yes. Dips are next. So we did push ups, then the kettlebell row, now the dips. I'm going to keep my back in nice and tight to the bench. The straighter your legs, the more challenging the dip. The more bend, the less challenging. Keep your back nice and straight, close to your bench. You can always do this on a chair as well. Just make sure that the chair is stable. Whatever surface you're using, you'll wanna make sure it's stable. Five more. Push press to finish. So you may notice on the kettlebell row and on the dips, your heart rate comes down a little bit. On the push ups and the push press, your heart rate should come up. So green, yellow on the push ups and the push press, blue, green on the kettlebell row and the dips. Push press, here we come. 
10 on one side, 10 on the other. Let's do it. Five more. Push through. Last one. Yeah. Other side. 10 good ones. Push press. Bending at your knees, pushing your hips back. Five more. I like to check in with my core. Make sure it's in nice and tight. Two more. Yes. Definitely in yellow on that one. All right. Let's review. I've written them out. I know it's going to be backwards for you. But our first exercise is kettlebell swing, kettlebell deadlift. We did double and single leg. Then the kettlebell side lunge. Then our lunge deadlift combo. Those were our four lower body. Then our four upper body were push-ups, the kettlebell row, the dips, and the push press. All right, so on the kettlebell swings, green, yellow. On the kettlebell deadlift, blue, green. Kettlebell side lunge, green, yellow. Lunge deadlift combo, blue, green. Push-ups, green, yellow. Kettlebell row, blue green, dips, blue green, and then finish with that push press, green yellow. Those were our eight kettlebell exercises for the Express Kettlebell Backyard Workout. I promised you a bonus exercise. I already showed you the pelvic rocks that we began with. I like to finish with those, so I won't demo those again. But I want to show you, I'm going to show you two really fun kettlebell exercises that I like to do to kind of play around. I played basketball in high school and uh, this kind of brings me back to my hoop days. So the first one is just an around the waist drill where you'd bring your feet in as close as you feel comfortable. The more narrow your base of support, the more challenging this exercise is going to be. So I like to keep my feet in real tight together and you're just gonna wrap the kettlebell around your body. I like to do 10 in one direction, 10 in the other, and I'm trying to hold my torso and my core as tight as possible so I have very minimal movement from here to here. <laughs> and I'm trying to keep the movement at my shoulders. Whew, everything else in nice and tight. 10 one direction, yeah, 10 the other. So this is just an around the world or around the waist drill with your kettlebell. The heavier your kettlebell, the more challenging it is to hold everything in nice and tight. So that's our around the world. And the other one that I like to do is a figure eight. So you step out wide, almost like a sumo squat, and you're gonna pass the kettlebell between your legs. I like to do 10 in one direction, 10 in the other. Keep your chest up tall. Try to sit back into your heels put the weight in your glutes. This is a burner for the legs, for the core, and it gets your upper body involved. So go one direction, then the other. You'll probably notice you're a little more coordinated going one way than the other, but just keep practicing. Give it a go. One more on each side. Yeah. Those were your two bonus kettlebell exercises. The around the world, and then the figure eight through your legs. So. Let's review one more time. This is the Express Backyard Kettlebell Workout. We did four lower body exercises. Kettlebell swings, kettlebell deadlift, kettlebell side lunge, and then the lunge deadlift combo. Four upper body exercises, push-ups, kettlebell row, then we did dips and a push press. Your two bonus exercises, kettlebell around the world and kettlebell figure eight. Okay, perfect. So Sue says she did this with me and she got 57 MEPS just using her body weight, which is a great option. You don't have to have a kettlebell. You can use your own body weight. You can try different variations, try different weights of the kettlebell. And as I mentioned, feel free to use this workout in the zone match. So go into zone match, find intervals that you like so maybe a duration of 30 to 60 seconds with a little bit of recovery and just plug these exercises in that's what's so awesome about the zone match feature you can plug in whatever exercises that you want into the intervals that are already built in for you 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, happy Fitness Friday. Give this Express Backyard Kettlebell Workout a try. It is so great to be back with you again. I'm Dr. Ayla Donlin, one of your MyZone Master Trainers. Hopefully you got to see and meet my little daughter Lucy on this episode. I'm sure that she will make many cameos um, over the coming months and years. I wish you all a wonderful weekend. Go earn some MEPS. And don't forget when you're posting your workouts, use the hashtags MyZoneCommunity and use um, all the other hashtags that we have recommended. And I will give Lucy a hug from you. And as always, ladies and gentlemen of the MyZone community, keep moving forward. Go earn some MEPS.